The Envoy S metered has the ability to perform revenue grade metering as well as consumption monitoring using current transformers or CTs. In this video, we'll walk through the installation of your consumption CTs. Before installing the consumption CTs, complete the following steps. Step 1. Download Installer Toolkit. Step 2. Verify that you have two consumption CTs. Step 3. Verify that a production CT has been installed. And Step 4. Evaluate the main load center for consumption CT placement. Let's walk through these steps in more detail now. Step 1. Download Installer Toolkit. Before you travel to the job site, download the Installer Toolkit mobile app to your iOS or Android device and log in to Installer Toolkit with your Enlighten email account and password. Step 2. Verify that you have two consumption CTs. The consumption CTs look like this. Step 3. Verify that a production CT has been installed. If you are using the Enphase AC Combiner Box, the production CT has already been installed for you. Step 4. Evaluate the main load center for consumption CT placement. Before installing consumption CTs, Evaluate the main service panel to determine if the split core consumption CTs can be installed around the service conductors or bus bars. If the utility meter is installed in an enclosure separate from the main electrical service panel, the CTs can likely be installed without rewiring the service equipment. Here are some examples of consumption CT installations. You have now completed preparations and are ready to begin the consumption CT installation process. Before installing CTs, always de-energize the load center to reduce the risk of electrical shock. Be cautious. The line side of the main breaker will remain energized when the main breaker is off. For additional safety information, please reference the Envoy S installation and operation manual on Enphase.com. The Envoy S uses terminal blocks for metering connections. These are the terminal blocks on the Envoy S used for consumption metering. Note that the block on the right side is not used. This schematic provides wiring details for the standalone Envoy S metered. If you are using the AC combiner box, you may notice that the production CT wiring is slightly different than what is shown here. Please refer to the companion video, Installing a Production CT, for more information. Create a protected route using conduit for the CT wires from the main load center to the Envoy S. Before running the CT wires through the conduit, use black tape to mark both ends of one of the CTs. You will use this for Line 1. Marking the Line 1 CT will enable you to correctly match both CTs for Lines 1 and 2 between the Envoy S and the main load center. Run CT wires through the conduit to the Envoy S. Because the CT wire voltage is rated for 600 volts, you can use the same conduit as the power conductors and pull all of the wires through the conduit at the same time. Open the terminal block door on the Envoy S. Connect the CT wires to the Envoy before clamping the CTs onto the main service conductors. For the marked CT wires, connect the white wire to the Line 1 IA dot terminal and the blue wire to the Line 1 IA terminal. Note that the Line 1 consumption CT installed on terminal IA must be attached to the same line as the power terminal A of the Envoy S. This can be verified with a voltmeter. For the unmarked CT wires, Connect the white wire to the Line 2 IB dot terminal and the blue wire to the Line 2 IB terminal. Tighten all terminal block connections to 5 inch pounds. Locate the side of the meter that feeds the Envoy's A voltage terminal. Double check that you've matched your lines from the Envoy to the main service panel. If you get this wrong, the consumption readings will not be accurate. Install the Mark CT on the main service conductor line 1 with the CT arrow pointing toward the loads. Verify the CT is firmly latched. 
Install the unmarked CT on the load center feed wire line 2 with the CT arrow pointing toward the loads. Verify the CT is firmly latched. Close and secure the Envoy S terminal block door. Turn on the circuit feeding the Envoy S. This will initiate the power up sequence. At this point, you will use the installer toolkit to connect to the Envoy via AP mode and verify system installation. If you are not familiar with how to do this, please pause this video now and view the following two short videos on Enphase.com before proceeding. The first one is, connect to the Envoy using Installer Toolkit on your Android device. Note that this video is available for both Android and iOS devices. The second video that you need to view is, commission your site using Installer Toolkit. Once you have viewed both of these videos, you can continue through this video. Make sure that you have enabled AP mode on the Envoy, connected to the Envoy's network, logged into Installer Toolkit, and clicked on Connect to an Envoy before continuing through this video. Once you have used Installer Toolkit to connect to the Envoy, tap Meters. Note the gear icon next to Consumption Meter. This indicates that the Consumption Meter needs to be configured. Now tap Consumption Meter. Select the consumption meter type based on the electrical configuration at the site. Does the circuit passing through the consumption CTs include load with solar production? If so, select net. If it is load only, select total. Please be sure to set the meter type correctly before tapping Enable Consumption Meter. After enabling consumption metering, Installer Toolkit will display a confirmation screen showing that the consumption meter status is enabled. When you navigate back to the Meters tab, you will see a check next to Consumption Meter, confirming that it is enabled. If you see this symbol, it means that the wiring is incorrect. Refer to the Envoy Help within Installer Toolkit for troubleshooting information. You can access Envoy Help by tapping on the App menu, tapping Help, and then selecting the topic of your choice. Return to the Envoy Overview screen and verify the meter readings. This data updates every 60 seconds. You can view production and consumption data from Installer Toolkit as long as the mobile device and Envoy S are paired in AP mode. If the consumption monitoring isn't working properly, a good first step is to shut off solar and validate the consumption metering without the PV producing power. For additional setup and troubleshooting information, please reference the Envoy S Installation and Operation Manual on Enphase.com, as well as Envoy Help when you are connected to an Envoy with Installer Toolkit. For additional training videos, please go to Enphase.com.